we ask that you remain standing as we have the presentation of colors and remain standing also for the Pledge of Allegiance, and then I will let you know when to be seated. We will now have the presentation of colors by the City of Tallahassee Fire Department Honor Guard. Colors. Let us now have the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. We will now have our invocation by Pastor Tim Davis, who is also the Director of Technology and Innovation for the City of Tallahassee. Pastor Davis. Let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come and celebrate the achievements and success of these students. We thank you for the administration for having the vision. We thank you for those who worked tirelessly to make this day possible. We thank you for the city for offering this program and the commissioners backing and supporting it. But as we honor you, we thank you for these students, for the work that they put in, for the time that they devoted to their family that supported them. We are honored today of their achievements. We are inspired by their dreams and we hope that their visions continue on. We give honor to you and to them for all that they accomplished and everything that they did. For it is by you, God, the ability to be able to do what seemed impossible at one day has now become possible today. They are more than able to do and conquer things in this world because they have achieved the goal that has been set before them. And so today we honor them as we honor you. And we give all this thanks through your darling son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, welcome. I'm Dr. Kimball Thomas, Director of Community Services and also the founder of the Tempo Program. I give great pleasure tonight. <laughs> I have great pleasure tonight to welcome you to the Cohort 4 Tempo Graduation. And again, here are your graduates. We're so happy to have you, family, and friends here tonight. We will now have words of encouragement from our mayor, Mr. John E. Daly. Mayor Daly. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come on now, we're celebrating. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Daly. I am the proud mayor of the great city of Tallahassee. I am joined here by Commissioner Diane Williams-Cox, my colleague and friend. I am joined by the commissioner and the dean of the city commission, Curtis Richardson. And on behalf of your city commission, we want to bring greetings. I cannot think of anywhere in the world that I would rather be right now than standing in front of these find individuals celebrating you and your accomplishments. But first and foremost, let me real quickly recognize the moms, the dads, the grandparents, the aunts, the uncles, the brothers, the sisters, our family that are here that supported you on this journey. We know in Tallahassee, it takes all of us to play our role to help each other out. But to you, the graduating class of 2021, we cannot tell you how proud we are of you. Let me state that one more time. As your mayor and commissioners, we are so proud of each and every one of you. Always remember, it is not where you start, but it is where you are headed in life that defines who you are. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that the future is bright. You have your entire lives ahead of you, and you can do anything 
anything. Not only did you graduate from a nationally recognized program of excellence, but my goodness, you did it during a 100-year global pandemic as well. You have proven how successful you are. You have proven the leader that you are. We are proud of each and every one of you. There is no doubt in my mind that the future mayor of Tallahassee and the future commissioners are sitting right here in this audience at one point. And I want you to always remember the thing that makes Tallahassee so special the thing that sets our community apart from everyone else is our citizens. That's why we believe in you. That's why we invest in you. And that's why we know you are going to great things. Always remember, your great city, Tallahassee, loves you. Tonight, we celebrate each and every one of you. Congratulations. Thank you, Mayor Daly, Commissioner Williams-Cox, Commissioner Richardson. We will now hear from the foundation chair of our formal and new Tempo Foundation that would be talking about scholarships and other things down the line for Tempo graduates. Here, our foundation chair, Mr. Andy Harrison, Bank of America. So, thank you, Dr. Thomas. And Thank you, Mayor Daly. That, uh, you really uh, set the bar high for me there. So I want to, first of all, say that I'm going to, uh, my good friend, uh, Commissioner Curtis Richardson, reminded me earlier of the five Bs of public speaking. And that's be brief, brother, be brief. So I'm going to follow his tune and say, first of all, congratulations. Uh, you guys, as the mayor said, You've overcome tremendous obstacles, and you've, you've made it here. This is the first step on what's going to be a great and bright future for you. I also want to hearken to what the mayor said and say congratulations to all the families and all your support systems, because they're important. They help get you here, and they're going to help keep you going down that path. Finally, I want to say thank you to Dr. Thomas and the rest of the staff of the Tempo organization for helping create such a fantastic organization that I'm honored to have been asked to serve as the chair for the Foundation for Tempo. So again, class of Tempo class of 2021, congratulations and well done. Thank you. And I know that some of you were looking at your program, you say, wait a minute, what happened to the person named Cynthia S. Barber? Well, I'm saving her for last for this one. I just wanna tell not only the graduates but the family and friends that are here. Four years ago, one person, one applicant, walking down Texas Street here in Tallahassee with a vision. I went back and shared that vision with Ms. Barber. I talked about mainly public safety and making sure that we at least had an avenue for you to start getting your GEDs and moving on. She said to me, Dr. Thomas, we have to do more than just GEDs. We have to give them more opportunities so they can dream their dreams and not give up on themselves and self-invest. She told me we have to pick up the tempo, and we've done that now. I won't steal McPherson's highlights of the program, but because of her mantra of picking up the tempo, you're gonna hear some highlights about this program that would not have happened without her unrelentless support of this program, I'd like to present to you Deputy City Manager Cynthia S. Barber. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm going to do it like the mayor. We're here to celebrate, so good evening, everyone. Good evening. So I'm to bring a word of encouragement today, but I have to tell you that you all encourage me. When I look in the audience and I see you today, and I've seen several of you shed a few tears, 
you've likely seen me do the same. I'm so excited, so motivated by seeing you and your families, your village here today. This is a wonderful, wonderful achievement, and you should be very, very proud. So I do want you to take a moment and congratulate yourselves and family. Clap for your babies. We've made a milestone here today. But I want you to see this for what it is. It is a beginning. It is not the end. It is not your destination. The mayor stole a little bit of my thunder when he said he sees the next mayor and commissioners sitting in the audience. I believe truly in my heart that my replacement is sitting on one of these two front rows. I believe that. You're very capable of doing it. It's just a matter of whether you want to do this or something else. No matter what path you choose, I already know that you will be successful. You've already made a step that's demonstrated that. I want you to know you may not know me, you may not know Dr. Thomas personally, you may not know the mayor and commissioners or any other city staff, our city manager, who regrettably couldn't be here today, but also is a big supporter. But you should know how much we care about you and your success. And this isn't a separation from the program either. We want you to know that we're still here for you. And Kimball's right. Getting the GD, GD is a good first step but we want to see you gainfully employed. Not any old job, but we want to see you gainfully employed, or we want to see you in a college of your choosing, or a trade school. We have some great trade school options. We know, without a doubt, the future of Tallahassee is in this room tonight, and it is among you. So I want you to know that you encourage us. You've made a sacrifice. You first made a decision, but a decision without the work doesn't matter. You made the decision, you've done the work, you've made the sacrifice, and you've achieved your GED. And I know that you're going to go further and we're here to support you. I want you to know your caseworkers, I want you to know Kimball, I want you to know the chief of police, I want you to know everybody in our organization. We're here to support you. And Kimball can give you our direct contact information. That's the way we work. So if one of us motivates you in some way, you see some way you think one of us can help you, reach out to us and tell us how we can help you. We're here to do it, congratulations, and we are so extremely proud of you tonight. Congratulations again. Thank you, Ms. Barber. I can tell you, and um, let's see, I don't see her in the crowd. Where is our human service analyst, Ms. Tony Johnson? Tony blends in like one of the students. She's in the back, and Tony said something very interesting to me the other day. She said, Dr. Thomas, seeing the work that we do in our department, this is the absolute best job one can have in the world because we're not just changing lives, we're saving lives. Thank you. Now, musical selections. This young man has sung with R&B legend all over the world. Anyone heard of Patti LaBelle? <laughs> Mr. Anthony Williams. If you saw the Academy nominated movie 12 Years a Slave, part of that soundtrack was done by Mr. Percussionist Steve Fryson. International travel. They're going to do a, some musical selections for us, so let's give them a round of encouragement.
Previously um, mentioned, I'm Ariel McPherson, the Youth Services Coordinator with the Tempo Program. Um, as we're witnessing tonight, Tempo is in the business of creating opportunities. Okay? I have the pleasure of introducing our next guest, who understands the wealth of creating opportunity, partnership, and community. He is a dynamic young man who has been through trials that have helped helped him create a belief system that honestly all, many of us can actually learn something from. He was born in Jacksonville, but he is of Tallahassee. I'm sure that many of you have seen him around and enjoyed some of his sweet taste of, of his business. Um, his business is uh, Girlie's Lemonade and Sweets, and it's a business, honestly, it helps bring community get, together. Funny how sweets would do that though, right? <laughs> All right, so please join me in welcoming uh, business owner and entrepreneur, Demetrius Murray. All right, thanks. That was a, that was a nice, inter I've never been introduced before, so that was a, that was a nice introduction. It may, really makes me sound like I'm doing something with my life. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, this opportunity means a lot to me. You know, as I stand up here, even if I'm shot down on this stage, on this platform, and they do me how they did Malcolm X, and they kill me in the middle of my speech, everything that I'm about to say, I mean. Now, if you live in Tallahassee, you may have heard of this small business called Girlie's Lemonade and Sweets. Now, I'm one of the two owners of this company who got its start selling lemonade on the side of the road. Didn't have the big Bank of America to back us, <laughs> but we still made it. The other owner, Marquise Williams, a lot of people know him as my brother, but he's not my blood brother. All right, he's one that I've, I've come to know as my brother. Him and I, when we, we met just randomly on one random day in 2019 and he had this idea and I'm the type of visionary who can I can see just the smallest bit of your idea and I can magnify it and I can see the bigger picture so he you know small talk leads to him telling me about his grandma grandma girly uh, who passed away he says man my grandma she passed but she left me this recipe book for her lemonade and this lemonade is so good if you and I got on that corner and sold it I'm telling you we would make a fortune I mean, I'm like here with this guy. I'm magnifying the vision, I'm seeing the big picture. By the end of the conversation, Marquise and I agreed to split the company 50-50. And that day, we took all the money that we had, which wasn't much, and we bought all the supplies and everything we needed to start selling lemonade, and we sold lemonade that day. In the beginning, we sold maybe 30 cups a day. I mean, we were so dedicated to this rain and shine. We were out there selling lemonade, 30 cups a day. Within about a month, a little over a month, we were selling nearly 300 cups a day. At $3 a cup. Now I want you to do quick math. 300 cups, $3 a cup. Me and this guy were making nearly $1,000 a day. Consider this, we had no more than what you have right now. A few dollars and a diploma. That's what we started with. Now, I'm not here to give you too much motivation because motivation isn't what people really need. I'm not here to tell you to keep your head up and stay positive and you gotta believe because that part is obvious. But life happens, life happens. When someone tells you to stay positive and you hear it and you leave them, you leave into your world where life is going on and that positivity, that motivation goes out the door. But what I'm here to tell you is one of the most important lessons that I've learned 
on the journey of building girlies, lemonade, and sweets. The greatest lesson of mankind, I've learned my calling in life. What am I here to actually do? And that's it's very, a very specific calling. And that's to help people pursue their passion. What I want to offer you instead of motivation is an invitation. I want to invite you to a friendship with Demetrius Murray to let him be your second man, what I was to Marquise Williams. Your helper, your assistant, the one who's going to be right there with you through the thick and thin, through the rain, through those dark days. When you, you want to build something, you need somebody to hold it up, you need somebody to stand back, somebody to hold it up so you can stand back and look at it. That's what I want to be. I want to be your second man because it's hard to chase your dreams. And it gets hard because life happens. You lock your keys in your car. You get in an argument with the, with the person you're in a relationship with. You, uh, you, you, you know, things just happen to discourage you. You know, but you need somebody to be a present. There, there's a verse in the word that says, I'm a present help in a time of trouble. And I'm so inspired by that, by that passage. And that's what I want to be to each and every one of you. A present help. Your second man. We may start something at 7, at 7 p.m. And we may not finish until 2.45 in the morning. But Demetrius Murray is vowed to be right there with you. I've lived a lifetime where I've seen so many people start their dreams. And they died with their dreams because nobody actually help them pursue their dreams. People may not have the credit or, 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 the, cre or the credit or the credibility to, you know, for somebody of a high caliber to be next to them or to go to, uh, 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 you, you know, whatever, uh, to get whatever funding that it takes to, to pursue their dreams. But what I have in me is everything that it takes to get you there, to at least get you, what did the young man tell, tell what did you tell me earlier? To get you started. That's what I got in me. And I realize not everybody has that level of self-determination to keep going when things get tough because life happens. But I got it. And I want to extend all of me, all of Demetrius Murray, to each and every one of you. Everything I got, I want to give to you. I want to be right there with you in the midnight hour when it's sweat and when it's hard. I got you. I'm there with you so that your dream does not fall by the wayside. I vow to stand next to you. Because of Tallahassee, uh, the, the Facebook group Tallahassee Foodies and the city of Tallahassee, Girlies Lemonade profits a pretty penny every week. And I thank God for the money that we make. And I vow to not buy a Ferrari with this money, but I vow to buy your future with this money. You need somebody to invest in you. You need, look, look, this is important. This piece is important. You may not have the $175 that it takes to order whatever product so you can get it to see how it looks. But I got the 175. You may not be able to go to the bank to get the $1,000, but Demetrius Murray got the $1,000. And I believe in you enough to invest in you, and to not only invest in you, but to rock with you, to stand with you, to stay up with you, and figure it out with you, just like I did with Marquise Williams. I understand that not everybody has that capacity, because we all got a life, right? And wh whoever picks up your phone to give you that phone call to, to make sure your head is up, that may be the best that they can do. But it's time for me to do the best that I can do. And I'm not going to tell you to keep your head up. I'm going to be right there with you to keep your head up. And everything that you need to get your dream off the ground, man, you can count on Demetrius Murray. That is my vow to you. That is what I want to extend to you. Not motivation, but the invitation to a friendship. Someone who's going to Pay full attention to what you got going on. Be fully invested in you. That's what Demetrius Murray wants to give you. A partnership, a friendship, your second man. I'm the greatest at what I do. I'm the greatest helper you will probably ever meet. I'm somebody who can really give you feedback. Not somebody who will just tell you, oh, that was cool, that was nice, that was a pretty good idea. That's what's up, oh yeah, that may worry. Nah, I will give you everything you need to get you started. I may not get you finished, but I'll get you, I may not get you to the finish line, but I vow to get you past the starting point. Let's take advantage of this opportunity that we have to exist together. We're in the same lifetime as each other. And I don't want to live a lifetime knowing that I lived and I could have lived and died knowing what I could have done for you. At first, it'll feel like the struggle. And then it'll feel like the grind. And then one day, it'll feel like life. 
because this is what we wake up and do. And then before you know it, it'll feel like freedom. I refuse to let each and every one of your dreams go by the wayside. If I got to do it one person at a time, I am there for you. And I'm actually talking to you. I got enough faith for everybody at the sound of my voice. I got enough faith to believe in everybody in this room, whatever you want to do. But not just to tell you, but to do it with you. You can count on me, Demetrius Murray. You can count on me. Congratulations on your graduation. And let's make this future happen, for real. Thank you. Come on, you can do better than that. Let's give him another round of applause. Wonderful. Not motivation, but an invitation. Well, the moment that I think all of you have been waiting for. We're going to have Ms. Kelsey Charlton come forth and prepare to call our graduates to come forth and get their diploma jackets tonight. And we're going to ask that Ms. Barber, commissioners, mayor, you can join us at your pleasure and make sure when you hear the name call for your loved one, your family member, your graduate, I want to make sure I hear that real loud applause. Let's prepare for the presentation of diplomas. First of all, I would like to thank you all so much for being here. I'm really blessed and honored to be in the position that I'm in. Um, my name is Kelsey Charlton. For everyone who doesn't know, I'm currently a second year broadcast journalism major student attending TCC. I'll soon be transferring to the highest of the Seven Hills, Florida Agricultural Mechanical University, to complete my bachelor's in broadcast journalism. Having come into this role so recently, it's truly an honor to stand before you all today. On February 1st of 2021 of this year, I began my position in the Department of Community Services. And the knowledge and fulfillment that I've gained thus far is far more than enough for me to share with each and every one of you. Each one of the graduates that we will commend tonight has inspired me in ways that are unimaginable. Despite adversity, the naysayers, the tragedy, you have all persevered and you made it to the finish line. So give yourself a round of applause. As someone who hardly ever finishes the many projects that I tend to start, seeing you all here today inspires me beyond measure. You all make me question my own limits, my own capabilities, am I really pushing myself hard enough? Because the people that are standing in front of here, like in front of me right now, are unstoppable. Each one of you is a living manifestation of determination, perseverance, and the inability to crumble at the sight of adversity. It's my honor to be with you all in this moment, and I'm so grateful to have been given the opportunity to become a part of and to witness such impactful work. As you turn a new leaf and begin the next chapters of your life, I wish you all great success and even greater abundance. Without you, there is no tempo. And with that being said, we will now begin the presentation of diplomas. Thank you so much. Javari Marshall. Tempo to TCC for nursing. Devaris Weston. Tempo to workforce. Eris Lackney. Tempo to Lively for cosmetology. Thank you. 
Nicholas Williams Gaiman. Tempo to TCC for computer science. Elizabeth Jimenez. Tempo to workforce. Fakita Baker, Tempo to TCC. Thomas Bryant, Tempo to Lively. Chastity Powell, Tempo to TCC for Business Administration. <laughs> Brianna Mann. <laughs> Tempo to Lively for Nursing. Sequoia Grady, Tempo to TCC. <laughs> Brian Burns, Tempo to Workforce. Julio Hevauer, Tempo graduate. Hevauer aspires to become a police officer. James Dillard, Tempo to Lively for law enforcement. Tamia Hayes, Tempo to TCC and Lively. Kyrie DeBeat, Tempo to Lively for Licensed Practical Nursing. Wayne Phillips, Tempo to Lively. Cheyenne Howell, Tempo to TCC. Anslia Shaw, Tempo graduate. Jennifer Hughes, Tempo to Lively. Darren DeRoche, Tempo to TCC.
Jennifer's sister is actually here in the audience, and they haven't seen each other. This is their first time seeing each other in 15 years, guys. This is what Tempo is for. Shaquem Carr, Tempo to TCC. Travis Davis, Tempo to Lively for HVAC certification. Tamari Paramore, Tempo to Lively. Elwin Early, Tempo to Workforce. Caleb Walters, Tempo Graduate. Saxton Jones, Tempo to Lively for Welding. Kashawn Ammons, Tempo graduate. Isaiah Molina, Tempo graduate. Jose Gilmontes, Tempo to TCC, to FSU. Trayvon Burns, Tempo to TCC. Lily President. Tempo to TCC for real estate. <laughs> Antonio Nelson. Tempo to TCC to FAMU for business administration and graphic design. John Horse. Horse is a first generation Native American graduate hailing from the Kiowa tribe. He is the first Native American to graduate from the Tempo program. Lazarius Williams, Tempo to TCC for graphic design. Isaac Houston, Tempo to Lively.
Shanquia Daniels. Shanquia is the wife of Mr. Bradley Daniels. They are the first husband and wife duo to graduate from the Tempo program. They did that. Last but most certainly not least, Tristan Warren. Tempo to Lively. Congratulations, Tempo Class of 2021. Come on, give it up for them. Stand on your feet. Come on, give it up for them. Yeah. <laughs> if you will remain standing, we're getting ready for our recessional. Again, thank all of you for being here, family and friends, all of our city officials, both elected and appointed, and our friends, our staff. And again, let's give it up to our musicians, Mr. Fryson, Mr. Williams. Thank you so very much. City of Tallahassee WCOT staff, thank you so very much. And with that being said, by the power invested in me by the city of Tallahassee as being director of community services and the founder of the Temple program, you may now turn your tassels. We are ready for our recessional.